I guess my own research with, with psilocybin, my own interest with it was really looking at what was really happening, what, what was the mechanism. And I did some qualitative research where I interviewed the participants of our first trial and just asked them, you know, what, what did a mushroom experience, what did a psilocybin experience do? How did it impact you? And the, the response really was that it was, it was an experience of going from extreme disconnection to connecting to self, other people and, and the world around them, and especially nature, actually. So it was this, this process that people described that in depression, they were living in their heads, trapped in their heads with constant ruminations, negative thoughts. It was like the, uh, the life had just got smaller and smaller until they were just living up here. And then the psilocybin experience somehow allowed people to, that focus just opened wider and wider until they could feel their senses. They could feel their emotions, their bodies. They could connect to other people in their lives for the first time properly. Connect to, not just to the people they knew, but just to a sense of global humanity. And then even wider, the circle gets bigger and bigger. They started connecting to, to nature and sometimes a source of universal love and a spiritual essence. And, and finally, a sense that everything is connected, everything is interconnected, and that they themselves are part of nature and that they are part of an interconnected web of life, which is amazing to going from living in your head, like living in your ego, stuck in here, to feeling part of everything. But tragically, or not tragically actually, it felt tragically at the time to realize it, that sense of, of connectedness kind of, um, shut down again after a while so it was this huge expansion and then a contraction over time because people are going from there from this this trial and this experience back into a toxic world toxic toxic soil you know they're, they're going back into toxic ground of disconnectedness of you know an individualized world where it's hard to get help where everyone is so stressed and going so fast that any kind of sense of connectedness just can fall away quite quickly so essentially I, I realized that we needed something for maintaining this sense of connectedness. So I've, um, I'm now focusing on an integration community, which is an online community, and it's for people after psychedelic experiences or just after, it's actually for anyone, because I think life at the moment is, is kind of a psychedelic experience in many ways. And um, it's, it's for people to come together and work on a, a year long process for maintaining connectedness to self, others and nature.